that magnificent, everyone? Yeah. It's hard being glamorous like us, isn't it? <laughs> That was a fantastic performance. What's that song actually about? It's about growing up on the road. And I guess it also has a lot to do with my, my background. You know, I'm like mud. I'd say I, I'm, I'm, I'm part uh, Spanish, part Lebanese, uh, part Italian. So I'm, I'm a mixture of many different cultures. And I think that I've been my entire life uh, just... Uh, a real wanderer. Yeah. yeah in lots of ways. Like that. Now, I think your musicians are a very interesting collection of people. Where did you pick them all up? <laughs> they have... <laughs> uh, I... <laughs> Actually, they've been with me for quite a while, almost 10 years. Wow, really? Yeah, yeah. They're like a family to me. We are a family. Oh, that's have a good. Lot of so you all get on all right? No, yeah, yeah, no we, do. we do. No punch-ups and yeah. the tour bus or anything. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I don't like tour buses. Oh, no. No, I get dizzy. No, I don't like them either. <laughs> I drive myself, folks. Because I, I like to drive. Yes, yeah. I love to drive as yeah. well. Absolutely. I don't like to see it on the back seat. No, no, in control. Absolutely. Mean in control. On your new album, you're mixing a lot of musical genres, so well done. Um, <laughs> Just tell me about a few of them. I have to say, I have listened to it. My favourite line is yeah. absolutely, and I loved it. I particularly loved at Mon Amour because it's got wow. a great line in it, which says it's something. It's a rock like, chick inside you, huh? Yeah, there is a rock chick, it's a long way inside. <laughs> There's a thin one a long way inside as well. But I love that line. I hope your toilet doesn't flush. That's really nice. <laughs> stuff. You mean, because so, so many songs are a little wiggly romantic and, yeah, I hope your toilet doesn't flush. I'm going to use that. <laughs> um, yeah. what, what actually inspired the title track of She-Wolf then? Well, I think that there's a, there's a She-Wolf inside of every woman and I understand women's plight a little bit better. I understand my mom today much better oh, than well, that's probably great. 10 years ago. And, um, yeah, but I do, I do also feel that, that we all have an, an animalistic side, uh, a part that is very uh, primal and instinctive and uh, it's instinctive and basic. And well, that, part, that part that we hide from the rest of the world but, and that we try to deny it and sometimes repress it, you know, yeah. but it exists, it's there. Let's just, let's just um, have a quick look at your, your, your clip of, uh, of She-Wolf because it's slightly saucy. You're a bit of a saucy. I'm saucy? I'm so jealous that you're saucy. saucy. I like that word. You like saucy, saucy. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm saucy gonna use that word. Yes, you use saucy and I'll go, oh, your toilet dump flat. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a quick look at a, a clip from She Wolf, shall we? suit on or something so you didn't have to show your proper bottom. No, that's a uh, stockings. So yeah. I'm wearing oh, stockings, yes. yeah. And what do your mum and dad think about the, the saucy bits on your videos? No, they were the first ones to actually see the watch the video. I wanted to show it to them first to get their blessing because, you know, without of mom course. and dad's blessing, we can't do anything. So, <laughs> they, um, my dad found it very artistic. Yeah, he was very, uh, very, very much impressed dad. about my 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 uh, flexibility, and uh, <laughs> he didn't know I could I could actually split like that. He was very very much uh, happy with he it. He's impressed. Yeah, he was impressed. He was so impressed. he should be. Uh, and I was surprised. Too. <laughs> so that was the first blessing. That my mom was a little harder to convince. She was she was very worried about her neighbors and <laughs> what they were gonna say back in Barranquilla, my hometown. Uh, but I explained it to her, I explained to her that I'm a grown-up woman, you know, and, and I've always been very coherent uh, in the way I express myself, through my music, through my videos. Probably 10 years ago I would have not been able to shoot a video like this one, but now I felt it, you know, I felt like showing my legs. You know, they're a little short, but they, they take me to places, and it, 
it was not. I said to myself, this, it's now or never, you know? Yeah. This I'm is the moment to show my little and legs. Everyone's just taught me. Exactly. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> um, and my mom used to have great legs, too. She didn't get a chance to show them. So I guess she, she was with me on that one. Mum, get your legs out. <laughs> and um, was, it, was it good to work with uh, Wycliffe Sean oh again? Oh, God. I would do it a thousand more times if I could. He is just lovely. He's a great human being. We both grew up in the developing world. We both grew up witnessing uh, so many things that, that we share. And, and, uh, and we do have in common uh, a certain point of view and, and ideologies and, and things that, that are that definitely make the work easy and, and more pleasant as well when you are um, sharing the same common space as well, you know. So and he's, he's a great, great to work with someone friend. that you like as yeah, well, that you yeah. feel an affinity with. Yeah. Now, Hips Don't Lie is the best-selling song of the century. Yeah. Have, yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen. Have you... Um, yeah, why not? Have you actually given a copy to the music teacher who thought your voice sounded like a goat? <laughs> Actually, I never, never heard of him again. Good. <laughs> Serves him right. No, but, you know, when I first, uh, when I, when I won my first music contest, and after he, uh, he denied me the, the possibility of making part of his choir in school, um, I, I, I brought to school my, my little trophy and I rubbed it on his nose like that, <laughs> and then I said to him, "What, what do you say now?" Yeah. Well done. Uh, you well know, done. That, that was my little sweet revenge. So, uh, my music teacher said to me, you'll never get anywhere because you look like a goat, but, uh, oh, no. you know, it's not, it's not held me back. Um, You're a lovely lady. Face, so are you. Yeah. You're gorgeous. Now, we're getting on well here, aren't we? <laughs> now, um, when did your dad first realise that you had a gift for singing? I remember this moment vividly, actually. We were going to the beach with my mom. We were in the car and we were all singing. And my dad looked at my mom and said, listen, listen, listen to her daughter's voice. She's very, it's very powerful. It's very potente in Spanish. And I don't know, potent, I guess is the word in English. Yeah. Powerful. And, and that word that I didn't even know what it meant back then, because I was probably four or five years old, it stuck to my head forever, you know. Potente, oh, I have a voice which is very powerful. And uh, I guess that was, that was, that meant a lot to me. And I still, I still uh, keep and treasure those, those words. Yeah, they're fantastic, um, those, those, yeah. um, he, plant, he definitely life, planted a, a seed in my, in my, in my, in me that, that later on bloomed in, in some kind of way. And, but they, they were always very encouraging. Now, uh, what I was reading about, I was particularly interested in is your foundation. Um, because um, over in this country we do take education for granted, but it's not like that in Colombia, is it? About yeah, in countries like mine uh, and, and the developing world in general, um, sometimes and sadly, education is considered a luxury and not a birthright like it should be. Only a few people have access to, to, to the right kind of education. Um, and we all know that, that there are millions of kids around the world who don't have any access to any kind of education. 70 million kids actually don't have access to, to any kind of uh, primary school education. So um, since I was 18 years old, I decided to establish my foundation in Colombia to provide high quality education for kids um, and to build schools in areas where there, there have been for, for, for many years a lack of presence I think from the government. I think 18 year old, that is absolutely amazing. You've all, yeah. <laughs> Thousands and thousands of kids, haven't you? And, and I think what's so fantastic about it is it actually gives the kids their childhood back, really, Absolutely. doesn't it? And their hopes in life to become to become productive members of society, to to have a dignified future. I think that education is is really the the one key that we we can we can use to unlock every child's potential. Well, I just think they're enormously thankful that they've got someone like you on their side. Um, now, do you, th do you think anyone can learn to move their hips like you? Absolutely, yeah. I'm slightly elderly <laughs> and arthritic. I'm virtually <laughs> dead, really. But will you, will you give me a little lesson in, in how to dance like you and move my hips? Why don't you show me your... <laughs> Show me what you got. <laughs> I've been told that